Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule Waves 2 in this succession series with Benjamin Magnus Gaming, the Historical Gamer, XTRG, and myself, Cherapaka, who uh, has a bit of a decision to make here. We have a, the choice whether or not, see I've actually left the game up, even though I, this is not immediately after the last recording, but um, we have a choice whether or not we want to commit our destroyers. It's a one-time thing, you know, torpedo reloads were not really a thing for a long time, and this game models that correctly. Um, so we want to know if we should commit, essentially this is this is the way I, I currently view it. I don't know how it is in reality, but this is my current uh, viewpoint. I think that the Charles Martel is likely to be sinking. We can go and confirm that with some torpedo hits. We're already doing pretty well. I mean, we're destroying her slowly, whatever is left of her. Um, the fact that I see three turrets are destroyed and I mean, that's a good sign, very good sign. Um, she's taking a lot of hits. She's taking two torpedoes on top of all the damage that she was already taking. Now, having taken two torpedo hits, unless maybe there was one of those events where a single shell detonated two turrets? I don't think so, because I don't think these are considered next to each other. Just usually the super firing ones. Uh, anyway, I mean, this it's kind of an interesting situation. What do we want to do about this? So, she's not a huge threat if we want to keep fighting. Um, if we want to bring our destroyers in, we will be wasting their, like, ship sinking capability on a ship which may already be sinking. But, you know, there's been a number of times, obviously, people who have watched any Roll the Waves know you think a ship is sinking and it ends up not being. It's already happened to me once in this uh, this particular term as Admiral, as Minister of the Navy, I should say. Uh, they were against the battle cruiser. It was a non-sea class. And, you know, it would have been really nice to have one less non-sea class than this. Those, I think, have torpedo protection, too. I don't know what the Charles Martel has. So I'm kind of now at the point where I think we don't need to send our ships in. The Massina, she's currently moving away, but she is also one torpedo in. So, the, I mean, there's a lot of torpedoes that have successfully found the target so far, thanks to an amazing, a really amazing torpedo run from our light carriers. Now, as the torpedo bombers drift back, we're, we'll be able to evaluate how many we have left. 12 and 11, it looks like. Which to me is enough that we can probably expect after some a few crashes or whatever, some casualties basically, the repaired ones. Maybe we have 9 and 9 left. 18 more torpedo bombers considering the amazing success of the original 28. I think we'll, um, we'll be sending them out. So again, yeah, it's just a whether or not we want to try to use the torpedoes for our destroyers yet. And I think... I'm going to err on the side of aggression. I'm I'm not going to I'm not going to err on the side of caution. I'm going to be aggressive. So we're essentially going to push things. We're not going to use our torpedoes yet. We are instead going to leave these torpedoes for later. And so far we're just I I when you start landing this many hits it also gives me the feeling that we are actually hitting a sinking target. So you guys can actually, even though you're going very slow and we want to keep you towards the back, you have, we have plenty of time still. Um, I mean, we have plenty of time before we actually have to, we're going to lose gun range. So yeah, we do see this. Well, I'll probably have to turn these back. We are moving to, like into a worst wind position, but I feel like the number of hits we've landed on this thing we don't know how many are penetrating, but at least that's a lot of hits. It already has three turrets down. I mean, it's just... In fact, to me, the exciting news is even landing a single shell against their destroyers, which have outnumbered us throughout this war, especially because of the short range. That's a new thing, by the way. They haven't... They didn't have that in there until only recently, I believe, where short-range destroyers may not make it into the fight in the same theater. So... If you design your ships one way, like I did, <laughs> like everyone in this series probably has, it's a little, uh, it's just a little unfortunate that they end up changing the rules of the game in the middle of the game. If you start the game with those rules, you really have no one to blame but yourself. But I think we'll swing around back to the east. I would like to do that just to maintain wind advantage. 
Also, it will put us between them and their port. Not really. Their port's up to the northeast. In fact, they're pretty close to their port, which means we may have to be very aggressive. No, this Charles Martel is slowing down. So ideally, we'd even focus on different targets, but I dare not tell them to disengage for fear that she may not actually be sinking yet. But if she wasn't, she's certainly taking a pounding. And we will pursue her back to port. So let's get the Sarieski to turn around. Let's get these guys to start turning around as well. A battle line shift is in order. That's what we're ordering here. Our light cruisers are going to be able to join. And you will just move in with us as well. So, so far so good. We want another strike. We want it as soon as possible. We are close enough now. I hope that the cap from the aircraft carriers will also be per, uh, helping. There is a cap specifically over this, the home division, but I also want the aircraft close enough that we can use them as part of the cap. Sariaski has been very accurate, which is great, and she does have a 12-gun broadside, which is very helpful. Although, for some reason, she's only firing one. Is that a bug? Is that real? Is it because she doesn't want to fire? Look at fire whatever you have. I don't. High explosive is fine. Armor piercing is fine. Both of them are fine. You probably won't penetrate with armor piercing. Um, but high explosive is going to do damage. So just do it, man. Just fire. Shells hitting the target are not going to be a bad thing, no matter what. Uh, I don't want to give him direct orders, but we'll let him. Choose his target still. Okay, now we have a new whipping boy, this Corbet. It's taking heavy damage. I hope this is also the one that has already taken a torpedo. So yeah, we'll get our destroyers. Stay with the stay with thing. Stay with things as much as possible. Yeah, good. This Corbet. It would be great if we could sink that. Just I strongly suspect this thing now only going five knots is dead. What's I mean what's more, even if it's not quite dead yet, we expect it will be. No 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 please 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 don't do that to me. <laughs> I need this I need this game to count. This is you going way too well to take this away from me, game. That would be worse than a submarine sinking the Tortukov, which has already happened. Okay, they are coming back in too. And I do like the fact that although we have one Tortukov, we do also have one Benjamin Magnus. In fact, the namesake, the Imperator Magnus One. So we can bring you guys back a little bit, despite the fact that yeah, you are wounded. Joe, I mean, we're just punishing this Corbet class. Ah, that's the one with light damage. But I see them making their way back towards us. Okay. So Sarvish hit uh, on the belt, but did not penetrate. Another 14-inch hit on the Corbet. Light. Was there one other Corbet out there? AMC, that might be uh, AV, seaplane tender. Or a seaplane carrier, as it's known. Yeah, I think this ship's going down. I think they removed the ability to see it's at three knots, so it's already sinking. But we are going to keep tracking that one, so we know where it is. 26... Looks like they just recovered some aircraft. Wow. Three 15 inch guns slamming into the Corbet. Well, they are, I mean, they are coming at me, so 
I guess this is what they wanted. <laughs> oh man, this thing is just taking a pummeling now. And six inch guns, high explosive, you know, can do some damage to this other one. Now these are very old chips, but the points are count for points, so we'll take them. We'll take anything that they're gonna send our way. I do declare my carriers are a bit too close. Wow, these Corbets are just getting pummeled. Only six inch guns that round. Okay, there's a 15 incher on the lead. She only She's down only one gun. Destroyers are in position, it looks like, to make a run if we need. One on the left flank, one on the right flank, which is good. We took a hit, which did not penetrate our turret. It's always nice to have good turret armor. 11 inches in this case, which is not that great. Actually, these are 10 and 11 inch. That's actually not that bad. So it's definitely better for them to be absorbing blows than the 9. So 12 inch, I like the 9 and 12 for Battlecruiser. It's really good. You'd prefer something like 11 and 13 for Dreadnoughts, but yeah, I didn't have the space available at the time. So there's the deadly non-C classes coming in. This one's actually lost one of her turrets, so she must have been on the receiving end of a torpedo, which right now is extremely helpful. Leon is not quite as deadly. 13-inch guns, 6 16-inch guns is just very scary. And this one, Turville class, that one's not as good. Oh my gosh, that armor. Our heavy cruiser might have penetrated that armor. <laughs> Speaking of, let's slow you down a little bit. Are they turning away now? Looks like it. Is it too little, too late? I hope so. We fired three of our 13 inch guns. Not really sure how you managed that one. Maybe one, <laughs> one of the gun tubes is jammed or something. And a 15 inch hit. Okay, these are two different ships, but the one that's been pummeled the most is this Corbet. Let's double check on our... Nope. I can actually go to the list of ships. Oops. I didn't mean to make it smaller. Make it bigger, even. Time remaining is... So we have 10, 2 minutes, 11, and 2 minutes. Okay, just 2 more minutes. We're close. One are you? Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Corbet hit, deck hit on the Magnus. She absorbed it. And another Corbet hit, 13 inch hits. Okay, let's, let's deliver what I hope will be the, the final blow. The final solution. <sighs> okay, let's again. Let's choose here, make sure which priority target is our battle, the battleships. And that should be up pretty quickly. An hour and a half, that's not that quick. Yes, I'm sure because I don't have the technology. <laughs> <laughs> Turn back, Soryetsky. Turn back. Not the worst angle, but. Oh my god, turn the F back. What signal could you have misinterpreted that you would think it's the right idea to just charge at the enemy fleet completely by yourself? I wonder. Is there a suicide signal? Please commit suicide. In that case, yes, I agree. That's you're properly interpreting that. <laughs> what you are doing is suicide. Yes. <laughs> uh, we do have some light cruisers here, so let's get them in the range of this destroyer. That's actually a really bad angle for the. Um, oh yeah, she's starting tickets. Hey, she started to realize that the flag we're waving at her is not that one. It's the get back in line, you nincompoop. Okay, I mean, we've done some damage to whatever non-C we're attacking. And it is the one with the destroyed gun. 
Unfortunately, it's a very dangerous line to approach. I mean, I, I would love to just move in and try to destroy her, but the problem is... <sighs> the problem is she is with some very threatening Leon classes, which are not supposedly taken damage. I guess we have the log still up so we can check who took torpedoes. Did any of the Leons? I don't think so. Well, unsighted could be anything. So one of, I mean, these unsighted probably could have been this other Nazi, which is not keeping up the speed. But we'll, we'll never know. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's, <laughs> let's bring it back. Dial it back down a little bit. At this point, we have to cut off this destroyer and aim for it because <laughs> we have no choice. We go, if we angle any other way, oh my stupid... You wasted torpedoes on a destroyer? Out of all the things you could have shot at, your torpedoes, anything. You could have fired at, like, a cruiser. You launched it at a destroyer. My disappointment. I'm so disappointed. Alright, well, we are, I mean, the Sorietsky is doing a nice job keeping the Nancy under fire. We're actually almost out of main gun ammunition, so we just need to keep going until the aircraft get up. <laughs> How much longer? Four minutes. Okay. That seems okay to me. Let's just turn tail. And we'll probably prepare to go in here on the battle cruisers. Oh, Cesarevich. Fire started. How's that? Okay, not too bad. You've taken some structural damage for sure, but it's manageable. This destroyer is just insane. Still managing to hit the Nancy. Finally landing a hit on this thing. I mean, if nothing else, we have to discourage it. Aha. Uh -huh. Enemy aircraft are approaching. I'm still under the assumption that our ships are well protected. With a cap. Six. And six. Yeah, we have 12. 12 in the area. Fire extinguished. Ooh, three planes torpedo bomb the Imperial Magnus. But again, she's right next to our... I didn't see the cap do anything. They are also torpedo bombing the Historical Gamer. Well, it's going to make things unpleasant. Oh, no. Well, this is the end of the battle for me. <laughs> we have no choice now but to... Uh, to go into full retreat mode. She can still be saved. Not very easily, but she can be. Okay. Our fleet is being just... Well, I, I haven't seen our cap. Our 12 fighters have done nothing. <laughs> what the hell am I choosing maximum cap for if they're not doing anything? Okay. Get up to speed. Pick it up. We're going in. Hold fire until you can see the whites of their eyes. Down to 82. I think we're going to be able to pull that one off. As in, I think she will be okay. Near miss. I don't want that. That's why we're trying to, we're trying to push some ships closer to her. 
closer closer to the enemy, make better targets. But hey, if they continue to engage, our destroyers will just have to get in there. Okay, and there's the pull off. Our destroyers have done it. The Magnu single-handedly has forced their battle line to turn away. That's fine. Let's check on this one. Down to 65. I think we can do it. Now, we have no friendly port to move towards, but... <gasps> there they go! All right. <laughs> we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm actually going to leave these light cruisers to pursue that single destroyer by themselves. Oh, uh, this is the most important event that I've seen in the log. Down to 16. I think she's going to make it. I think. <laughs> I think I can. I think I can. Let's put her down to 6 now that she's pretty much out of harm's way. There's nobody targeting her at least. We would know that because when you're targeted, when you're targeting, oh no, is it just not giving me any of the reports? Let's try to get it back. Yeah, for some reason every now and then the game bugs out like this. I don't know how to bring back the reports. Okay, well, I can do it by just going a minute. Oh, there we go, got it. Okay, so she is targeting, but not being targeted. No blue lines incoming. This one has the blue lines incoming, so the Soryatsky is actually still being a target, but they, her speed should be working in her favor. Oh, Nelly. Wow. Oh, you mean our cap is going to do something? <laughs> One friendly cap is shot down by a torpedo bomber? <laughs> yeah. uh, there's a lot of levels of absurdity in that. I don't know why we only have one IC612 myself. Hmm. Not really sure. Slow these guys down. Limited flooding again. This is so critical. Oh, she's down to two. Okay, good. Now we just wait for the aircraft to arrive, basically. And we'll see what happens. They're definitely going to spot those. So we'll see what what who they end up going for. They're not going to go for these battle cruisers, but that's okay. Some of the other battleships were more wounded anyway. They are toying with the idea of coming back, it appears. I think that we ought to do a turnaround. Keep the Istorichesky. Um, keep her heading south, but everyone else can kind of close up. Close the lines. And the Ochikov is really the biggest damage dealer we have. That destroyer appears to have made it completely out of harm's way, so let's just see what happens if we get our destroyers a little bit closer. Are they going to turn away again? Again, I'm fine after these um, aircraft hit the target, and they are moving... Yeah, there it is. In the right way, I was going to say. I'm fine to disengage. We'll come. We'll let them, these battlecruisers engage if they want, but we'll also be fine to just completely pull off. Okay, one hit. <laughs> Two torpedoes, finding the target. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, you gotta circle back. Okay, Imperial Magnus signals. Well, she went south, not north. That's good. Okay, another hit. Another. Another two. 
three. That was all in the same person. I was looking at this flag and it did not move. So and it will move. So we're getting some work done up there. Probably just all sink. I bet every single one of these is hitting the uh, <laughs> the already sinking ship. But <laughs> oh well, it's gonna make me happy. Uh, Turville, at least we're starting to do some damage to this thing. But let's just pull off the line. This is a huge victory for us. It's going to be the victory points, which I'm going to need to feel more comfortable being even more aggressive in the next battle. This wasn't that aggressive. This was pretty conservative, at least by my standards. And Destroyer, where are you going? Going to need you in a moment. I don't know, if this guy wants to stick around, I guess we can just keep shooting at him. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna be out of ammunition soon. <laughs> Wait for this destroyer to come back. Weave her way through the lines, and then we'll probably do another strong engagement. Actually commit to our torpedo launches and do a pull away at the same time. But right now we're just having we have an opportunity to do damage to this ship as well. You never know. Could get a lucky hit. Flash fire, who knows? Same thing could happen to us. Yeah, they are very close. Okay, well, let's start threatening. There goes the Tourville. Spucci's taking a hit. All right. I think I've seen enough, about enough. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, who's our target? The suicidal, crazy kamikaze Magnu is going in. Yeah, it's not a bad target, not a bad target, but that's the one I think is our best chance. All right, Magnu. It's just I don't think you're going to get a chance, so I really will encourage you to fire at this Leon. And then let's just immediately pull away. She has no torpedoes left. Oh, that is wonderful. Oh, God, please, please. I haven't asked for anything for Christmas yet. Please. All I ask for is get, let these torpedoes hit. I'm not confident about it, unfortunately. You have two torpedoes left. Let's try to get you to maybe... I mean, they did swing towards us. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Ah! <laughs> Why? I've been a good boy this year. Yeah, this... She's probably dead, so I want her to turn. Give me, give me, yes. You've done so well. Oh, you've expended everything. Oh God, get out of there. <laughs> yeah, you might survive. I don't think so, but you might. The Magnus, real hero, does look like it's gonna get out. And as I said, we'll probably pull off. What the hell are you doing? Another misinterpreted signals, I guess? Yeah, I don't think you're going to survive now. You got stuck. Okay, well, let's do our turn away. Our. What? Oh, yeah. We are kind of leaving the THG out here. Didn't mean to do that. We'll come back. Your returning ships? Okay. That's fine. Remember, we have all those hits on of torpedoes. 
So, although we... Okay, we need to do this kind of weird game. I do want the Sorietsky to just go up here, and let's just see what they have. She's now our, our biggest scout. Okay. It's not unexpected. Zero torpedo hits, but... Uh, we had a really good shots. We just did not... Could not end up... Getting it done. Uh, you as well, turn. And we just want to defend the THG. Let's turn this guy as well. Magnus is now t toothless, but... Maybe they don't know that. We might have to still try to use <laughs> some... Yeah. So anybody who's not fast, like, you need to step off. You need to actually pull away as well. You're not that fast. How is Tichi doing? Yep, still limited flooding. Very good. Unidentified ship, though. Hmm. Destroyer. Well, it's a good thing that I'm uh, preparing to go save his bacon. I want the Sarietsky to continue away. My hope here is... Yeah, this is not good. I just want to see what they have over here. So. Okay, good. Start playing smoke. I want this to be a disengagement now. Okay, still not a good... Really, I... Really hope you're firing guns. <laughs> Turville is just trying to get in here too. I mean, they can't force the action. Sorry, Atsuki is free though. We're gonna use her to see what's going on up here. Okay, they're they're just close. I mean, we have to turn and launch our own torpedoes. Who has torpedoes? You have zero, but you need to fake it. You have torpedoes. Okay, time to launch. No, I'm sorry. That is not in the line of fire. <sighs> so. You could fire a torpedo exactly at the Magnu. She would be out of the way. And <laughs> just fire. It's just not in the way. It's not in the line of fire. <sighs> okay. Well, let's... Oops. Unfortunately, we're going to have to turn in. Torpedoes are very important now. Yeah, I mean, we still have to protect the THG, so unfortunately we're going to have to continue this engagement. Ah, it's so... F this, is, this is not good. Okay, now can you fire? We know what she's going to do. She's going to turn... Okay, now turn away. Yeah, there. We knew that was going to happen. I mean, we, we have no choice. We have to fight. So my light cruisers only have two torpedoes each? One. We, I mean, basically anything with a torpedo, we have to threaten. Good time to launch that other one. That's good. How are you 
doing? Okay, I mean, we're landing some hits on the Turville. I can only hope that we discourage her pursuit. We're actually landing hits on this one as well. That is the one that does not have its rear turret. Interesting. Another hit on the turbo. I mean, if we're lucky, we can drive her off. We're obviously... <laughs> so that's actually a good news, that the Durandal has decided to launch her torpedo spread against our six above water. So four at least are now gone. That's good. Very good. This, they've turned away again. One thing we need to worry about is that destroyer. So let's get these light cruisers back down. Uh, we'll try to ward off the Tourville as well. We'll see what we can see up here. I'm hoping to catch some ships. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. She's going to be a sitting duck. Okay. Now we have to form the line around the Ochukov. <laughs> Just one after the other. They are turning, though. Yes. Okay. The, we, we, them <laughs> couldn't have come in a better time, honestly. There's hope that oh, we'll actually get out of here. Just keep going south. All the while, our heavy cruiser has been dispatched to deal with God knows what. Whatever is up there. Has no torpedoes, unfortunately, but it can at least rip into some ships uh, at close range. Okay, they are fleeing. Well, we need to disengage. Go back south. This Turville is like insane, just by himself, does not care. Yep, now it's starting to hurt. Okay, how do we deal with this? Let's turn southwest, get everyone turning southwest, send the Magnu to do another decoy run, and let's just hope that this, all of this, is enough to discourage her. I hope. Still haven't found anything up here. Okay, so friendly attack. Oh, there's an airship. Well, they both damaged the airship. That means that we are being spotted, though. Maybe we can just pull these guys off from engaging. I'm okay in just engaging the Turville, chasing this destroyer away as well. well. I didn't think it would come down to this, but I think we actually can do yet another launch. Uh, do we have torpedoes left? Okay. We'll see what happens. Let me go a minute. What? What exactly happened? Did you guys... Oh, they both did it, I guess. Well, you know, if you can't take torpedoes, take bombs. They're picking up survivors from our ship, which is nice. Oh god, they're all joining. I hate this rejoining thing. Should have asked... Uh, you know what, it would be nice if they asked if you would like to reattach. They ask if you'd like to detach. Why not ask if you'd like to reattach? Okay, that's nice. We're finally <laughs> giving this stupid destroyer some punishment for getting so close. 
And luckily, at the same time, we were able to hit the Turville. And it looks like that has actually destroyed her rear turret. Put it out of action. Yeah, actually, you guys can turn that way. That's fine. Uh, we haven't found anything up here. We'll try to keep going until we've overstayed our welcome <laughs> on the east here. We've probably already done that, so let's go ahead and move back. Just this zombie-ish fleet of ships that are barely intact. That was a great barrage. You can now have Potemkin. It was fantastic. Of course, it's a, it's a Tortukov. If only we had the third Tortukov, the namesake, if she hadn't been sunk by a damn submarine. Still trying to punish the Tourville for sticking her nose where it doesn't belong. Let's switch east. I don't know where these ships are. I like everything. I mean, this so far it's been pretty good. The engagement. Two minutes until those guys are ready. Okay, one final strike. I think up here will be fine. Just hit whatever you can. Launch. Good luck. And we'll keep our heavy cruiser nearby. Basically, this heavy cruiser is not meant to do anything other than keep the battle going. If I'm not flooding, I don't care about the battle dragging on. Let's just make sure that that is actually the case. Slow everyone down to about eight knots. Yeah, even the THG is not flooding. So she's down to six knots. I mean, that's already really, that's perfect. Very much doubt she's going to have any problems at that speed. I'm really surprised we don't see anything though. Where the hell's their fleet? Okay, let's reevaluate everything here. Get you guys down to 20. Should probably just set, yeah, everyone down to like 10. <laughs> just so we don't have any flooding instances from high speed. Actually, you can stay squad max since you're a little bit further behind, so we'll bring you back into the fold that way. You've performed very well, Cesarevich. Very well. Okay. Oh, Soryeski sights the unknown ships. Yeah, so those are the battle cruisers. I'm fine to keep them in range just so I know where they are. And we're gonna speed away. I don't think any of them has the speed to catch us at this point. I'll even go 29 knots just to make sure that we don't, yeah, they are opening fire at us. But as long as we stay at the edge of vision range, and they're moving left. I want to kind of keep them in this area because this is where my torpedo bombers are going to go. <laughs> I 
Here they come. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, they spotted them. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. 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 Well, that was a disaster. Still, I think we'll end up losing just a destroyer for the whole thing. I don't really want to be caught at night, so okay, well, we we did our best. That was a it was a good try. Just wait for the battle to end. Sweet goodness, oh my gosh. Vindication, oh man. Oh, that was a 10 to one victory. Oh, oh man. We earned it though, we, we wow, we fought tooth and nail for this one. That was, that was <laughs> holy cow. <laughs> We sank their light carrier. Wow. 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 <laughs> well, th this is really amazing. I'm definitely going to call a video to a close here. It's the perfect time, but not only that, I'm like emotionally drained. I need a little bit of time left before we can pick this one back up. That was... Uh, that was very satisfying. I would say this is... This really is vindication. We ended up sinking 15, 15 aircraft, okay. And in fact, not we weren't even the ones with the next most amount of damage. The Toulouse, which took one torpedo, had some heavy hits. The Dunkirk, one torpedo, two heavy hits. This sure Chesky took two torpedoes. We managed to save her. Two aerial torpedoes. Very, very, very close to sinking now. As it should be. I, w I thought we might lose her, but we were able to save her. Uh, Sestrovich also took a torpedo. Is this aircraft? I can't remember. It was, right? Torpedo, torpedo, torpedo. It should say... Oh, this is not the bottom of the log. Yeah, evading air attack. Torpedo. Oh, this was torpedoed by the stupid submarine. They really don't like my Tortukov class. <laughs> they just really don't like it. Kane. Um, here's the <laughs> destroyer. <laughs> it's two torpedoes, 12 light hits, 31 mediums, a whole bunch of damage. So. Wow, insane battle. Wow. Just wow. And I know that the things went a little bit slower, but that's why we go slow, so we can try to eke out these results. In the end, I did zig and zag all around looking for them. It turns out that they had actually not fled back to port. They would fled west. But if I was looking for battleships, I wouldn't have found any because they were all sunk. So for now, uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you back for the next episode where we continue our little stint against France. Until then, Merry Christmas as well, and take care.